All right, we are back at it. We are so ecstatic that this took uh, in uh, took ten minutes of video, stuck it out on YouTube with uh, very little post processing using Cam Studio. We're going to try to race through an implementation of a uh, a project here in Civil 3D. It'll probably take twenty to thirty minutes. I'll be watching the clock and hopefully not running through. YouTube takes 10 minutes, so if you do these kind of short little videos, it's kind of not a bad way to compress things down and cut it up later, but for now we're trying to avoid post-processing. So I've gone through the environment and gotten everything set. I can go ahead now and make sure that I start with File New and get the correct template. I'm using a Wisconsin DOT template, right? Notice it comes through. It had some font issues. I'm going to get rid of this one. and. I want you to be aware that because of us kind of not having enough screen real estate, I'm going to force things in a little tighter than I otherwise would. You'll realize now with AutoCAD, you've got all these kind of different um, templates, but you do want to, I'm sorry, different workspaces, but you do want to start to get used to being able to use a lot of your AutoCAD commands. And you see a lot of them are up here anyway, and we will be able to control this ribbon. So. We're going to start to get very aware of using layering, as you would within uh, the DOT, and we'll look at the layers stuff. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the layer, LA, for the command. It still remembers it layer. And here it takes the layer property manager. It's out here, and you start to see of all the stuff that's out there. So you've got a lot of layers out of the DOT. Then you also have layer filters. Right, and so you're going to want to use, start using layering a fair bit, but you'll first need to kind of look out at the FDM and see what layers are called. They have shifted from a numbering world to a um, to a um, a named world. And I'm going to go here to surface, and you're going to see. I'm going to put all my information right now here on. First, I'll put some on Eden Map Control. And that will be my section lines, and I'll put my points or my my points on East Surf. So I'm going to double click on there. That's now my current layer. Of course, we have to remember, correct, that we need to go to this drawing and immediately say File Save As, right? An AutoCAD drawing. I'm sticking mine out out on the H drive in the fall directory, and I'll just stick it right here in Civil 3D, and I'm going to call this September 24th. I'm sorry, September 25th. Okay. Tutorial. All right, it's not a tutorial. You'll see most, you're going to be much better off going out and looking at stuff that's available on AUGI, AutoCAD User Group International, or at Students Autodesk Community. Okay, we've gone ahead and put all that out. And now what we've done, we've saved our file. We want to make sure, of course, that we either learn by going up here or going right here and going to clicking on that you'll see me very often I have a hard time finding drawing settings I would be able to find it up here and that would be common to all AutoCAD programs Autodesk instead I'm going to change my drawing settings remember that we've got to have stuff on a coordinate system mark silly physical memory thing or not we're going to go to United States of America, Wisconsin, for this project. And our hope is that some of you will work around here, and our hope is also that some of you will work someplace else. We're looking at a horizontal datum, NAD 83, and we're going with state plane, central zone. There's our coordinate system. The rest of this we'll sometimes forget, but let's try to set this at 1 to 40. Hit apply. Okay. And again, the if you are changing the scale, you're not really changing the scale of the drawing. This drawing is at one to one. You are changing the scale of the settings. Now, we're going to go ahead and draft in our cadastral. If you remember what layer we're on, one of the bad things you don't see up here, one of the things you don't see is that you want to you don't see the layer. Here it is right here. We're in existing map control. So I'm going to now draw a line, L for line, and my first point I could change everything around to go Eastings, Northings. I'm sorry, Northings and Eastings, but if you kind of are using with AutoCAD commands, it's not a bad idea to keep the AutoCAD input in 
XY and the civil 3D will be in northings and eastings. It keeps your mind sharp if nothing else. When you're using pure civil 3D, which you could do right now, uh, depending on what you came out of last semester with, you could put it in by putting in some points. But I'm going to grab my first point. I'm going to tell it it's 2,200,000 and then I'm going to have it go at so from the last point one mile 5280 at a zero angle zero angle in this case being defined by the x-axis not by the direction north I can hit Z space E space or for some in class yes that middle double click on the mouse I now say over offset 5280 offset from here to there Zoom E, we allow a little bit line from the endpoint here to the endpoint there and offset through. Why draw lines and not a rectangle? Well, you know the direction of the lines. Offset through, offset through, select, shift, right click, endpoint. You notice that my snaps are not on, and what I'll do here. Until you know what all these mean, I would recommend that you have them actually kept in the pros. I now I'm going to go offset all these lines. I'm going to make it an extra 100 feet wide. Just try to keep your tins larger than what you're going to design on. Offset through, fill it, radius zero. These hopefully are lines that are all on. Right, they're all 2D lines. I can know the 2D by listing. We don't have the list on there, but list works. It shows me there are 2D lines at an elevation of zero. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the layer on a couple of them on the outside and put that on something that's going to have to do with my tin. I can go ahead and change it. Instead of existing map, it was something like surface, uh, existing surface existing oh man that doesn't work for me look at all those layers so instead it's gonna work better to go LA for layer and think oh I want e surface and you're gonna to start to see how many different tools you can have to change things to e surface right e surface and I think one of those tools will be make objects layer current match match surface so I'm gonna the objects to change are gonna be Sorry, we're not going to match a surface previous. What I'll do is I'll change one of these to east surface, and you can show what you need to do. Right click, properties. We're going to change that to e surface, which should be sometime below e s e for existing u r s t u. It's going to be all kinds of ways e surface. I've changed that to e surface. Unfortunately, each surface is also same color. We might want to change that over time. But now I can go ahead and do a match. I'm going to match. Objects to be changed is going to be this, this, and this. Object on the nest destination layer, and now they're all on each surface. And now I'm going to go ahead and move them up a thousand feet. Click one, two, three, four. I can now right click. I'm sorry, left click over one of those points. And I now can, if I want, right click. But because you're in Civil 3D, who knows whether that's going to work. You're going to move them. And then you're going to move them at 0, 0, 1,000. All right. You now have made a set of 3D lines. Unfortunately, the color is a little different. So we might want to go in and change the color of the E surface here. That will be a set of layer settings that you'll be able to adjust yourself. We're coming up on about six minutes. I'm sorry, about ten minutes. So I'm going to stop this here in a second. But the reality is now we now have something that, in fact, some lines, these lines here are at elevation, and you can make a tin just off of those lines. I'm going to add, I'm going to make a flat tin for this example here, but what I'll do is I'll add one short little line up here that's also a line that's about 100 feet up. We're going to end this right now and then keep going in a little bit. Thanks for listening.